Every year we gather, and through Apostle Joseph and Pastor Priscilla Ziwa comes a new revelation, rising, ascending to greater heights, the Victorious Ladies Conference. It's where the worth of a woman is defined. Don't miss this appointment with your destiny. On the 16th and 17th of August, 2019, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Victoria Gardens in Blantyre. The Victorious Ladies Conference, setting the quality standard of life in Christ. Come and encounter God and secure your future. Live a life ablaze with the Holy Spirit. Enter an exciting world online with Apostle Joseph Ziwa. Visit fountainofvictory.org to get ministry updates. Apostle Ziwa's audio and video messages, ministry or church locations, watch live streaming services, and more. Visit fountainofvictory.org today.
Jesus, Allah. Lord, we love to fellowship with you, Allah. To dwell, Allah, in your presence, Allah. Lord, I must be a man here in this time, Lord Jesus. May save our sacrifice this afternoon. May save our sacrifice this afternoon, Allah. We love you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you. There's none like you. There's none like you, O oh Father. You are a king, you are a Lord, you are a Father, you are everything unto us. We honor you, we honor you, we honor you, Father, this afternoon. We honor you, O oh Father, this afternoon. We honor you, O oh Father, this afternoon. this afternoon thank you father for honoring us in such a way thank you father thank you so much King of glory for honoring us so long thank you so much oh father bless your name Lord. be exalted oh Lord.
Thank you, Father, for honoring us. Thank you, Father, for such an honor. We worship you, Lord. Thank you so much, oh Lord. Thank you so much. Just lift up your hands once again. Father, we honor you. We honor you, Father. We worship you. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much, oh Father. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you so much. Honoring us in such a way, Allah. This afternoon, all oh, is yours, Allah. for your voice this afternoon. We are ready for your wisdom, Allah, on creativity and excellence, Allah. We are ready this afternoon, O oh Father. We are ready, O oh Father, for your word. Talk to us, Allah. May your word become bone of our bones. May your word become flesh of our flesh this afternoon. 
Father, we are ready for you this afternoon. We are ready for you, O Lord, for your word, O Lord, to become flesh in us. We are ready, Father, this afternoon. We are ready, O Father, to become that which you intended for, O Lord, to become that which you want us to be, O Lord. That's why as you are speaking unto us this afternoon, Lord, nothing will stand on your way, O Lord. We are ready for you, O Lord. Who will not hear the man, but will hear you, O Lord, speaking unto us this afternoon. What we are seeing is your glory, is your Lord. We are ready for you, O Lord, this afternoon. Thank you so much, O Lord. Thank you so much, O Father. In Jesus, Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Praise team. It's okay. You may take your seats. You may take your seats. If, if it's okay. But don't disturb anyone because God is in the house. And he, if he, you can manage to take your seats, you can also manage to take your seats. Brothers and sisters, the moment we have been waiting for is here. God is about to speak unto our lives on wisdom, on creativity and excellence. And I know our lives will never be the same. The last week we were here and the man of God took time to show us what God wants us to do. And uh, this afternoon is another wonderful time. And I want you to stand on your feet and uh, uh, put our hands together as we welcome our daddy to come to us. this moment uh, I would wa I want to ask a favor from you I am looking at what has to be delivered and uh, looking at the time that we have I feel like I should do stand alone without interpreter so that I can be fast is that okay interpretation is that okay uh, so that I cover some interruptions because interpreter it means I speak I wait for him to say then I speak then we take some time but if we are to cover this uh, let me be the only one speaking is that fine praise God hallelujah thank you thank you pastor uh, next week Yes. We are speaking on this is our last day for the two days uh, that we set aside for the wisdom for creativity. We had the uh, 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 planned that we are going to have two weeks. We are going to have this week where we are going to look at, I mean, for two weeks, one Sunday for 
creativity and another Sunday for, for excellency. But it looks as if we under uh, not estimated. I, I told you one time that you see the revelation looks like when you are removing the covers of a banana. When you, you take one side, you realize there is still some more that you need to deal with. And I felt like maybe we don't need to rush, but we can take our time so that we have uh, the complete understanding on this topic. So we are still continuing. And uh, already the third minutes that I have is not enough, but I will try to select only the portions that maybe can help us. We will see if next time we can continue on the same topic or we can have excellence now. Praise the Lord. Uh, our key scripture was the Proverbs chapter 8 from verse 12. Chapter 8 from verse 12. That was our key scripture. I'll just read it and then go to the second definition. I'll read it and then go to the second definition. I want you, when you go home, you read from verse 12 up to verse 30. From verse 12 up to verse 30, when you go home. But for the sake of time, we just need to focus on one verse, which is verse 12. The Bible says, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence. I, wisdom, it's, it's the boasting of wisdom there. You all go down, you, you hear wisdom trying to boast what it is able to do in that chapter, chapter 8. He says, I, wisdom, dwell with the prudence. And I told you prudence means being careful, being cautious. Where now you don't just rush yourself to do something. You take your time. You take your time before you do anything. That's prudence. And the Bible says, I, wisdom, dwell with a man that is careful. That is careful. I took time last week to tell you what uh, what that means and how sometimes we are very careless we lash into decisions uh, that we are supposed to take some time I was just telling someone else about a uh, 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 decision to get into a family decision to get in a family is quite different from any other decision you might have taken in your life maybe you found it very easy for you to decide which car you should, you should buy. There wasn't really much debate. Okay? But you see, there are others, they take long, they are very careful to buy things that are perishable. Perishable. They will take some time to, you know, to search through and try to get the, the best car they can buy on the market. But what I'm saying is, if you can be careful with buying of a car, or else you, we are not careful with the buying of a car, but be very careful to make a decision on who to marry. You have to take time because marriage is to do with your life. There is so much that changes and that you put in into marriage. It is quite different from any other relationship. You can change friendship in any way you want to. You can have a friend today Tomorrow you can decide, I don't need you to be my friend. You can have, uh, 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 you, you, you know, you cannot take, you know, uh, uh, you don't need to be more cautious. Of course, friendship, you have to be cautious. But you, it's not as the, the same as making a decision for the marriage. In marriage, number one, it is going to be a covenant, eternal covenant of your life with that person. Yes, it can be broken by other things, but you must understand it is an eternal thing for your life. Anything to do with eternity, something that will, will cover much of your life, has to be seriously considered before you take any decision. And number two, you join your, your flesh with that person. 
you join your flesh with that person, which means the, the, the characters of his life at the end will become your characters. You find yourself that at the end, you are like your husband or your husband is like you. You may have gone into the family, you were less talkative, but now you're too talkative. Just because you have joined with it. Yeah, the Bible says so. He who joins to God is one spirit with him. But who, who joins to the wife is one flesh. So you take the flesh of your friend. Haven't you seen the people, the couples that stay together for like for five, six years? They begin to agree even on things that you, you can least expect that the other person can agree. It's because the other person has taken after the other person. I'm saying when you were single, you had a, that stand that everybody knew you cannot take that decision at all. But you get into the family, it becomes very easy for you. Very easy for you. Like you know that what Eve is doing is wrong. But you still say, you know, you are my wife. Let's do it. Yeah. How do you expect Adam to fall into the trap of Eve? Why he couldn't stand on his ground and say, God spoke to me that I shouldn't do that. I fear God. How can a giant like Abraham fall into the weakness of Salah? That, hey, time is taking long. Personally, the Bible says against all hope, he was still hoping. But although he was hoping, Salah found a way into his life and said, Listen to me, sir. Clock, I can't give you a child. Here is a person. And Ishmael is born. And you see, these are things that happen. So you may never know when you get into the family who is going to be too influential. Maybe it's the flesh of your wife, the flesh of your husband. And you find out at the certain time, you are just the same. I wish if the Bible says if we join one another, we become one spirit. But it's not like that. We become one flesh. You carry the flesh of a person. An innocent being. You have never been short-tempered. But here is a person you're joining. With a short temper in, this, in the flesh. And you join yourself. By and by, you're also short-tempered. <laughs> oh, Yes. You have to agree with your husband when he gets angry. Very, very few people, they will tell you that it's only me who told my husband that what you were doing was wrong. It's only me who told my wife that what you're doing is wrong. Anytime there is a correction, it's to do with their relationship. Come outside issues, the husband will take side with the wife. Outside issues, the wife will take side with the husband. And together they hold hands, going to hell. Seriously, I'm telling you. And do not think he does that out of love, that I can't leave him alone. He believes and is convicted that what his friend is saying is true. Without even hearing the whole story, when he sees, when, when the husband simply comes, have you helped? They were talking about me. Nasi waini, nasi waini, nasi waini. That's what happens. There is no like, wait a minute. Who was talking against you? Why? Don't you think you are wrong? Very, very few, uh, 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 very few people can do that. You agree because you become one in the spirit. As one in the flesh. So you see things, you become the same. You are weak in the same way. Such kind of decision, you don't just rush. You take your time. Because it's going, there is a lot that is, going to, that is going to get in. You have to take a moment and say, Lord, am I doing the right thing? Not that tomorrow you find yourself, you are Mrs. So-so, -so, or you are Mr. So-so. -so. You don't take, I know, you men, you don't take after uh, the name of you. But don't, don't wake up in the morning and find that there is someone else and you call him her husband. How long did you date? Few months. How much do you know your friend? 
in this way. These are things you take your moment. You become wise in life. To take a moment and say, I have to consider this. I can't just give you an answer right now. I have to take a moment. Don't rush, don't, don't rush as if he's going to run away from you. I know most of women, you don't want to think when somebody comes. Because it's like, if I'm going to lose this person, I don't know if another one is coming. Okay? You simply say, right there. He says, Ndika pempere ga eko ma. I'm already convinced. I'll pray. <laughs> you want to leave a green light. You want to leave a green light to, to the man that, hey, don't go to anybody. I'm just trying to be spiritual here that I'm going to pray. But I'm coming with a yes answer. Let your friend know that you respect wisdom of God. When you tell him, I cannot give you a yes now. As a human being, Yes, you are perfect. There is no wrong with you. But I don't know if what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling is right. So give me a moment. Give me time. Give me time. I've heard of relationships where a man chest for a, a where a, a woman chest for rather a man chest for the woman for like one year. And the woman could not give an answer. Not because it was a no. He says, I'm not yet getting a green light from God. I've been praying and God is silent. I can't make a decision by myself. I need God to tell me that I should get into this. One year the man chasing a, chasing, chasing a woman. And the woman says, I know I'm going to give you a yes. But I need God to confirm it. Serious people. Those kind of people who attract wisdom. Who attract wisdom. So sometimes we think, oh, why am I always making mistakes? You are not functioning with the wisdom. Because you are not careful in life. I've just picked one example. But there are so many things that you need time before you say yes. Before you say, I can do this. Things about your career. Have you ever considered what is going to happen if you choose a long career in your life? You are blight, very intelligent. But one choice can turn you to a different direction altogether. You were meant to be successful in a very short period of time, but you chose a long career because you never gave yourself time to think. And ask God to direct you, to help you. And you find yourself, you are now doing something else that you are not anointed for. Because at that time, everybody was speaking that. So things, if you really want to be wise, to attract this wisdom, be a man that takes a moment. Be prudent. Be cautious. Be careful before you make decisions. And that's why the Bible gives us people. There is a spirit of counsel. The spirit of counsel is not there just to, 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 to make the number seven. No. Very, very important for life. You must consider spirit of counsel. A spirit of counsel in the Bible, in the spirit. Counsel is always light. Of course, there is a bad counsel. But when the Bible talks about the spirit of counsel, it does not tell you that you're going to get the wrong counsel. You get the right counsel. Why the spirit of counsel? Because we are supposed to be advised. There are people that are filled with the spirit of counsel to advise other people, to tell other people what to do. If it is not you consulting anyone, then you pray for the spirit of counsel to counsel you. Lord, I don't know what I'm doing. I may make a mistake. But I ask you the spirit of counsel to help me. To help me. And then you realize every step that you take is guided by God. 
it's the step of wisdom and you don't you don't have a risk of prayer requests because everything else is body, guided by God and you don't fail you start something it works for you you start something it works for you your life is not up and down like this because every step you take it by the spirit of cancer and wisdom you let God speak to you you are not a person overtaken by emotions you take your time and listen and then you follow it your life can be can be the same so you see so it says I wisdom dwell with the prudence I, I will share one of the things just very soon you will see uh, about the character of creativity a man that is creative he has got a, a particular character you can tell even when he's young that this person is loaded with the wisdom of God it's functioning in his life and I'll tell you the trace of it that you can pick in your life but let me just finish this it says and to find out knowledge I find it the knowledge of witty inventions so I find it for you I bring it I get it. when I dwell with you I will not just be quiet I am the one involved that's what wisdom is talking I am involved now to tell you what is there what is there which is not yet known by everybody what's the next step I will bring inventions with the inventions he says I find it for you I find out for you so you you see yourself while you're working from nowhere an idea simply drops in your spirit an idea drops in your mind you say you know what we are busy worshiping the Lord in the church the Lord simply dropped an idea for me that this is what you're going to do after this it's an idea that I've never held it from anyone I have never seen anyone doing it it just came while I was worshiping the Lord I was actually driving busy listening to a teaching an idea simply came why the wisdom finds out with the inventions for you it will give you to you something that is seasonal something that is timely so when you're working in a moment according to your finances and everything you find an idea drops in your head I can do this I can do this and then you fly in your life you are ever creative ever creative ever creative ever creative now before I give you the the characters very fast and we finish the definitions of of crea creativity because I gave you one the state and the quality of being creative the state and the quality of being creative that was the first definition that I gave it to you I've got only three we reserve one I've, I have four but I need to have time to explain but can I give you quickly before we go there the the the, the character of creativity when you are a man man you, when you are born to create or when your life is so creative what can you find out what is it that you always see that will be dominant in a person are you getting this the first one is an attitude of progression you have you have got a progressive attitude progressive attitude progressive attitude have you ever seen people that are not always they seem not to always be satisfied with one place they want always to move because inside of them, they are, there is something else that tells them there must be the next step. Every creative person is a progressive person. There are people that will settle at one place and forget to move. That God has to remind them, you have not been moving for quite a long time. By themselves, they will never know that they are not moving. If I may ask some of you, to look at your five years back and where you are today and I ask about your knowledge I ask about your gift I ask about your your stand in the Lord I ask about your finances I ask about your career many of you find there's never been a major movement in your life I have ever met people that get employed today and you wash their hands 
that God thank you. They will pick a newspaper. They will never, never apply for any other vacancy. Even if somebody tells them, hey, hey, do you know that there, are, there, is, a, uh, there is a vacancy there? That organization pays much, much better than the organization you're working in. They'll say, oh, okay, okay. They will never apply until the owners of a company decide we have been with you for, some, for, for, for so long. I was supposed to move. I was telling a certain young man who wrote me, I, I thank God, if you are here, may God bless you. He told me, he said, sir, please help me. Just last week, I need to move from the place that I'm working. I have realized that I'm not making a progress, uh, a progress at all. Yes, but I'm afraid. Maybe this may not be the right direction. I said, why are you afraid? As young as you are. As young as you are, be venturous. Or oh, adventurous. <laughs> be venturous, venture. Do not challenge yourself. Do not be afraid you are going to make a mistake. If you make a mistake, you have all the time to, to, re, to mend them up. Why should you be afraid you are 23? You have already decided I will retire here. Do you have shares there? Are you a shareholder in that company? You want to retire at 23. And every day you stand here, pass, pass a prayer for me. There must be, a, there's never been a promotion. You are stuck at one place. You don't have a progressive mind because your mind can't see the next steps. Creativity is a way of improving yourself. You always see a better way of improving yourself. You can't be stuck and become boring and predictable. You don't settle on a tradition. You challenge the traditions. You can't just sit at one place. So if you want to know if you're progressive, so you are creative, look at yourself if you have, you have got a progressive mind. You have a progressive attitude. You refuse to be predictable. You refuse life to be boring. To be doing the same things over and over and over again. Something tells you this can't be life. Every day you want to pray for people, this is the way you pray for the people. Every day you want to do things, this is the way you do things. Why are you not progressing? It's because your mind is shut. You can't see the next step. I told you, creative minds always see and look for improvements. They will never tell you this is perfect they still see an area to improve themselves. I said, get out of that company. If there is a vacancy somewhere, apply. You want to make a mistake after all? It's not like you resign before they take you. You resign when they have taken you and they have given you an offer. And you compare the offers. You say, I have to move. He says, what about environment? That's why you are born again. You are born again. You cannot conquer the world if the world is not posing a challenge to you. You will never know. Do you know some of you, the ability inside of you, you, know, you only know when the enemy comes upon you. You will never know who you are until somebody runs after your life. Then you turn. You realize that your eyes carry fire. You will never know if the enemy is running after you. But when he is running after you, turn, you, you find out fire comes out of your eyes. You all, oh, my goodness. My goodness. So I've been carrying fire all along. You didn't know because there was no enemy. Fire is not supposed, this fire is not supposed to burn Christians. It's supposed to burn enemies. Demons. You only know when the demon is coming after you. We had a testimony in the morning of a woman having, you see, an evidence of fire. She would not have known that. Not at all if there was no problem. The problem in the house made her realize I'm safe. I'm well guarded 
Fire is over. Will she be afraid now? No, she can't be afraid. When she sleeps, she knows fire is all over. But for that to happen, she needed to encounter the enemy. So do not get afraid that if I go, I change the job. Maybe the environment will not be good. Go there and conquer it. You never know what you carry until you face the enemy. Are you getting what I'm saying? So don't be stuck at one place. One of the attitudes, the character you see in a creative mind is the progression. They have got a progressive mind. Say good amen if you're here. Amen. Oh, blessed be the name of God. I wanted to get into the scripture, but I'm afraid we may end up with the characters. End up with the character. The Bible says, now let me show you this. The Bible says, you have to listen to this. The Bible says in Corinthians, he says, when the perfect comes, when the perfect comes, I will do away which was in part. So there is always the perfect that comes. That God now asks you, walk away from what you are doing. Go for the perfection in your life. And that's what Paul says, I am not yet perfect. But what I do, I press forward. So that I can apprehend that which Christ apprehends of me. Don't tell me that at 16, at 21, God is done with you. If you tell me God has all, is all, all done with you, then he is not a big God, number one. I have questions about the size of God. That all what he can do is to make you who you are today. That not even your cousins, they know that we have a cousin in Blanta. Because there's no achievement at all. So you, you say, oh, what God has done to me is to be here. We are still on the way. We are still on the way. God is not yet done with anyone here. He's too big that he can get involved in your life. And then you can just become anybody. No. If he really, really, God comes closer to finishing you. If he really comes closer, not finishing you, but coming closer to finishing you. Every minibus you board, the minibus driver will talk of your story. He says, oh, I need to be a preacher, not a preacher. Even in business, the things you are doing, the fame will spread. And everybody will be talking of what you are do God is doing with you. He can't get involved and he's quit. Never. He's not yet done. So if you think it's time for you to relax, to relax, it's because your mind is shut. You can't see the next level, the next step of your life. Paul was, was saying, can I read only this scripture? Can I read this scripture? Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 31. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 31. He says, the words, I said, 1 Corinthians. Did I say so? Okay. He says, but covet. But covet. He says, NS3, the best gifts. Don't settle there. Covet NS3, the best gifts. And the Bible says, and yet I show you, I, and yet show I unto you. A what? A most excellent way. In other words, there are so many ways, but there is the most excellent way. And that excellent way is what you should always hold in your mind. There is always an excellent way of doing this. A better way of doing this. We can still move in. We can, that's the way people keep on being creative. You will never just look at a woman because there is an invasion. And you are doing this. Have you seen the phones today? The phones today? How they keep on updating them? And doing that, you know why? Because they always know there is a better way of using the phone. Yeah. You would, hello, hello. 
you, you go to WhatsApp, you have to wait. You have se done sent, wait for it to show that it has gone because the network is very poor. The people that are not creative, they can have that type of network for 20 years where they have to go on top of the mountain. I say, hello! Mwausile tojo ndi kwa dikirira pano ndi kachoka pano si mundi gwira aso ya. Kujo dikirira pa mine mwaka uza kaze na mwaka uza ndani aku pese retu pa mine ugatelo kuhiga ntumba ule ndo pita ndi uti si gwira aso nchidu. Other people they look at that and say there must be a better way. A better way. What is a better way? That's why they become creative. Do you know there is a 5G now? Huh? Oh, yes. There's a 5G. No buffering, no loading. Just pew, fast. Yeah. So fast. So you can see what is wrong with our country. What is wrong with our country? If we are so progressive, we'll find out how things can be, how we can change things. I always drive here. This is not something that you need, you need to think much to see the problem. Some of the things, you just look at that. You should you think in terms of what is a better way of doing this? Challenge your mind to show you a better way, an excellent way. There must be a better way of doing the same thing. You can't see. That's the reason why do not tolerate excuse. Don't accept excuses. Excuses are for the weak people. People that have refused to think. They will blame everything else. They will, they will blame their, their salary. They will say, I don't have enough. Or I don't have. No, 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 no. Challenge yourself. Yes. In Union to Grand Glen in Chichewa, good moon face with. Could you get up a mount to present the badge about the Malobots? Huh? Q. Q. Masiguan. Ima Karapa College of Medicine in Paganapa Mount Present. Malobots have a mount present. Huh? Did you fuaja ja kuti? Lion your joker auku. Ima imisiguan tau imene singa jite interfere traffic. Ugama jokera ku College of Medicine. Ukubera ndinse uu wasojiu. Ngati uku. Ii ya seka. Nkuse gula ii. You are not interfering ngati wawuko. Sa kumpasa kutakoti. Chwa kai se gula ii. Wawuko ansekera. Iwewe ima hapa. Chokote la hapa. Chovuta chokote la hapa ndijani. Chotu usibu era uku. Uku ima chonchi. Pariba mene. Uku muru. Olutatu ukote. Sujide interfere yu ndi traffic in areas. Koma traffic, ikuuza red. Imabe pompu. Pa mene red, imena kuhimisa mtu, amena kupiti lira. Chifajote, auku, auku kota. Wapiti lira, aime. Opita uku, azikota. Pa mene pacha kungo tapa, tambasula, kuchi. Opita nose, mzima pakati. Okota, mzikala uku. Uku, kuzikala fast. Traffic, kise mavuta up. Chifajote, ena kupita kusochi. Ena fetu kubwela straight uku. Tosa kutika la inimosi. But somebody wakes up in the morning to go to work. His job and what he's paid for is to think this. <laughs> he sits in a, in a office like that. He may be your father, I'm sorry. But you see, <laughs> oh yes, I'm just saying, that's what he's paid for. From the taxes of people. He thinks and sit down there. How much do you need just to expand that part. So that those who are coming this way, they should come this lane. Nothing, not much. Progression. We will tell you there is a better way of doing what I'm doing. It is so difficult now, there must be a better way. If you push your mind in that way, that you're always looking for a better way, take it from me. Your mind will become creative. You have ideas. 
So don't blame money. Don't blame anything else. Not at all. You push yourself and say, there must be a better way of doing what I'm doing. I can't keep on doing it this way. Yeah. It applies in everything. I'm bringing it down for you because you may say, I, I think not that. No, it applies in everything. It applies in everything. The people that came with the flash disc from cassette, disc, flash, and you can't see that someone is trying to improve your life. You see, someone may be thinking for you, but because you are stuck in the history <laughs> with the John Chilembo in 1915, you see, <laughs> you still want things to be done in the way you are used. Creativity, enemy of creativity is tradition. Because any man that is creative is not traditional. Is ever changing. Is ever changing. He can't say this is the way we know how it has to be done. He is ever changing and trying to look at the better way of doing things. Not just stuck in the same way. That's what creativity does. Pray. You see, the capacity of your brain, if you don't know, what God has done with your brain, the mind that he has put in you, is too big. Too big and he has made every brain to produce marvels. God dealt with your brain with it. With marvels that you cannot explain. Do you know when he, 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 he what? He, he made Adam? Huh? When he made Adam in chapter 2, I think from verse 19 and 20. Can you give me very fast so that I, I show you? I show you. Oh my goodness. Time is not with me. What is happening with the time? Very fast, very fast. Very fast, very fast. Mm hmm. Genesis. Did I say Genesis? Chapter 2. Okay. These are some of the things you... you, 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 you. <laughs> what is a <the> better way? <laughs> that things can be... Fair. If you are thinking in that way, you create how... What? You find out. What's the delay? What makes a delay? Why apostle says Genesis and somebody takes one minute finding Genesis? Is it a person? Then you go and ask. You have to be very inquisitive. Go to Genesis. I'm a footer. Come pay over here. So I'm a footer. Come at the gate of Banya Church. Each each chima chedwa. Kuzunguria. Go to Jigabeze Genesis. See in here. Niman pay some much and go. You say okay. Then the person jira. Go to each each. Is it done? Is it tamang? That's creativity. The person that is stuck with the John Chirembe, who say. He has accepted it. No. Then it will only be one side of this world that will be doing things for us. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the blame. A few minutes. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and he brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever, he says, and he brought the things. God says, let me see what he would what? Call them. And he says, and whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. Every creature. And he says, wait a minute before I get excited. 20. 20. Give me 20. And Adam gave names. I want you to see. Adam gave names to all. To all. All species of what? Cattle. All those, the boo, the, 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 the zebra, they are all falling into all cattle. China Joseph Chowone Kangati Mwombe. Adam differentiated them. Could you? Ah, you? You 
Zohar says, and he says, the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. Oh my goodness. He's the one who says, you are a lion. You are an elephant. You are a giraffe. Adam sana iwarire kuti ndaperekakari zina la kuti. Ah. Alipo fumu ina kama rembo wa South Africa, amalembo alindana 32. 32. Akunena kuti ama kumana ndi mwana wake kuna kuti kuti iwe na kupasa zina chani we. Ana eh, seriously? <laughs> Anajina unena yeka kuti ana santi sometimes nima iwarira maina au. Wina nima kumbuti sinima kumana kumana nai nima zamfusa. Zina kuti ina kupasa ndani. Adati mnandi pasa zina kuti. Him named had names for billion creatures. Sana lepere. Come on. That's more than a computer. Kunena chintu wani. Wani kugani za kuti zina la nyuani likare chani. Ha? Likare chani zina la nyuani. Chachi wii, ndugu kumbu kila kuti sina li ndari dani, ndari nena kari. Ndi saribwereze so kwa chintu china. Bwe sisiku pesi kazi wili sitati zose tukuzicha lion, lion, lion. Kumanasi siya ni sakena kari kosi. Andi mungo kunina kuti, anate nga zintu zose kuka mpasa Adam. Kuti, ndi wone nzimene ata chite. Why? Aku mpasira. Because he has put in him capacity. God knows man very well. When he created him, he knew what he has packaged in his mind. He knew what Adam would be able and he won't ever get confused at all. Science tells us up today that no man has ever used the 100% of his brain capacity because it is not healthy for metabolism. If you can push yourself to go up to 100% of your brain, there will be some problems. But let me tell you something. Problems to a fallen mind. Not the man that God has, uh, rather, not the one that has received the mind of Christ. No wonder in Isaiah says, the mind of Christ allows us to measure the spirit. Yeah. You can direct the Holy Ghost and measure him. Because we are so loaded. So loaded. Is this mean I'm going to hey, what you got? So if you need I could use a 15 percent of the brain. A crazy to I mean, the capacity to push themselves to 100 percent, they are stuck. It's a shame for a Christian to fall into predictability and the tradition. Invasions are supposed to come from the church, church is supposed to master. New things. Because if you're sitting a figure for many magani so atu, I think a pot of you know see mabina go school in. You know mabina go school in kuka figure pena bagge money not maganizwanga is jammed. Nigu figure no the 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 agule pera brain ya boy gule pera kuka pesa the kudin the T H E the 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 Hey, spelling at V. <laughs> How many of you understand what I've just said here? So, good each other. Good and I was a goody. Why you put this a blending of one beady? If you let Pedano compete in his Afghaniza, you have to go to the top and no so pan. And after the morning, go to see the room for to get out. Couldn't wear and go, Mrs. Gudan. Maganiza cheaper. So in this life, and to task their brain to produce more for them. I was just helping someone. I said, you have to help a child to start using to, to get more from the brain. Many people they don't know the reason why Imanoman passes into as it jambula. Agama jambula mana uja kuntandisa kuti azika kuchita demand from the brain. Uganto pesa kumangoti zose zingoti katuni wa chokra. No, no, no. Pili sepe na pake panene, you challenge his mind. Azitake ukaje di kuti, kuni chifuajani? Chifuajani? Chifuajani ndi pente blue, osati red. 
agonies. They would have waged that force Beniak. The men don't say the same about Rukida. Joseph, if I mention about the Masoban, she could be Mutosa, ah, Mutosan, ah, Obandan Zeru, ah, Kupandan Zeru, the great Pera Kutita demand from your blame. Could you go past the man Salamino Gufuna? The incarnate third, uh, third character of creative mind is concentration. High level of concentration. People who spend time to look at the matter with a keen interest. The whole reason why they are creative, they have trained their mind to give out more. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Put your brain at work. God has put so much in you. Don't call it to the graveyard when you could have brought out a lot and changed the whole world. You could have changed your world if you say, God, I know there is so much in me. Makumbugira, the Tower of Babel. Huh? And I am Bantu. Oku Gwatu Ameniwa. Sigudi Mapon again. Agwanamba Kuika Miala Imosh. Akudi. Tika figa kudi, kumamba. Mulungu anasika pants. Dikunena kuti. Tien tipite tika sokoneza amenewa. Chifuwa ndikosa teka muntu kule pera if he has what? Imagined. He says there is no way you stop him what he has. Which means God was afraid of what he saw in the minds of the people. He knew how the brain works. He knew these people have gone deep. And gotten out from their mind and imagined something else. He says, nobody's going to stop them. The only way we can stop them is to confuse them, their communication, not their thinking. You can't simply stay. There is so much that your brain is able to give it to you. The weakness you have is to allow yourself not to think. And the reason why you are failing to think, you don't task and tax. T-A-X. To put pressure on your brain to give out. Don't easily say, I think there is no answer. So many times, answers have been found. Not at the first attempt. At the first attempt, you may get a wrong answer. But when you are going home, and when you are going home, don't lose your concentration. Still think on the same problem. Because when you're giving it a concentration, higher concentration, it's just a way of tasking your brain. While you're on the way, an answer comes. It was right in your brain. But at that time, the brain couldn't give it to you because you didn't demand more. But while you're concentrating, you are putting pressure on your brain and say, no, there must be an answer to that. There must be an answer to that. There must be an answer. Why? It was falling down. There must be an answer. While you're concentrating, an answer comes. You say, oh, now I know. I'm going to touch on this part. What we normally do, we get things that are wrong and everybody is afraid to, to face his failures. You don't know that the answer is with you for that which you have failed. You don't need to be afraid of what you have failed. Give it a moment why you failed. Take time why I failed. There is no way I can fail. There must be something that was wrong. Why it didn't work in that way? The answer comes. The answer comes in you. Hmm. So, Muzam Vagudi, Jau Zambiri, Maka Maka Muga Zona Zmini Zikwa Na Kwambiri. As Pusimina, Concentrate. 
uzita kumpasa chimozi choncho akagwira chinthu asathamangire kupanga so china mwana sa kuphuzira to put his mind on one thing kamwana uzita ukatenga kukaika pa kona kukala choncho kukaikira makatuni kali kamwana choncho kumakakangotero kangoyanga na pakatuni choncho chidore chake chiri pansi kumakangu yanga na pakatu ni chonjo. Mwana amene ya kupuzi la concentration. Kutichi ntuchi mozi ndi kachia mba uchia ngana, ndi satawe, paka na ndichi mvese, ndi chan chujitika. Osati ya kangotera, kangona uti, kundi ni muntu ndi ya, wapita kukua kukira. Ufu di gana nako kamwana kamene. Kaya mbire tuka kwa pula. You see, what I'm teaching you, never get it anywhere. But it's how you can train your child to become so blight in life. And this, if you grow with it, it helps you for the rest of your life. You will be finding answers for others. Solutions for the puzzles. Not because of anything. High level of concentration. You are being baptized today in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. You are being baptized in the name of Jesus. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, okay. Can we, can we just get the definitions out now? Huh? Oh, no. Nendu kubweda zo sesi tukuzisia. The first thing I says the art, uh, the state of being what? The state or quality of being creative. Creativity should be defined as the state or quality of being creative. Number two, that one I already give you. The ability to transcend traditional ideas. The ability to transcend to transcend traditional ideas, relationship or loose or patterns, and create the ability to transcend traditional ideas, relationship patterns, and alike, and create and create meaningful new ideas, and create meaningful new ideas is simply an ability to transcend from traditional pattern rules ideas and now come up with something that is meaningful that is new sorry so you are a person that don't want to be stuck in what is used and comfortable you are not a person that says, this is the only way we know how things work. But you are able to go beyond and come up with new ways. So you find out being creative, I have already told you, you have to hate tradition. You don't need to make friends with the tradition. Chizola wezi, chisamakale, you are old of life. Kutisimene zima chitika, alie sama kakula kaunjika. Akula kaunjika, ama masula kwa ya mbirira. Ndi kwa uza antubela ni zakuleni. Zina ntengera wina unina kuti, aa. Inendi tosa makakula na oshi pero chichi. Wina zika ndi kulira chipero chichi. Inezimene ntika chite, ndi zika kalo ya mbiri ya wakangu the best. Nisaka zikulise soka ae, ndi kazi sita. Ndi kazi sita. Do you know amena kupanga zimenezi? Akupanga ndirama kuposa amena ukula jibero. So you find out every time you challenge yourself to come out from what is perceived to be normal. It will give you a better advantage of your friends. What I'm trying to say is there is a new way of selling your product. You challenge yourself, you will find it. There is a new way of doing what you are doing. Everybody panopo akupanga mene yu mapangira. Chifaso, iwe yosu na ganizesu, unangu onera kwanzako. 
But if you sit down now and the task your blame and say, I don't want to settle in this tradition, your blame is going to give you. The wisdom is going to find the witty invasion. You will be the only one selling in a different way. And Zagwa Gamasa Gubesa, he was another idea on which he had up. The same product. Maybe it's just the packaging. What you need to consider the packaging. Alisa goodies in this way. Coding in terms of goodies in this way. How what? How much can I make? One, the price is gonna grow. Just because you put a packaging. There is always a new, a new way of doing it. Creativity is when you transcend from the traditional ways. So you don't simply start something and say everybody does this. Even right, excuse me, right from the start, you have seen a better way of doing something. You come not to copy. You come to do something that nobody has ever done. You come into the scene and you start selling things and doing things, the very same things, but you're doing it in your own way. So nobody can say with what I've just told you. Okay. In this way. You not need to get it anywhere. Get from them. But I'll give you a, a better way of doing it. And you rise from them. In this way. You're also getting another way. Because nobody can. You, you see, they can copy you. But they cannot be you. Because it's coming from your ideas. It's the work of the spirit of God in you. You are not just doing what everybody is doing. That's what we call creativity. That's what it calls creativity. Now, maybe if you are younger, then you will not be able to do it. In the Proverbs chapter 20, 25, verse 2, the glory of the kings is to search out. What is the glory of the kings? Command to Funam invests a vessel in this way. Ama bisa mulungu kuti zikape second diana ke oka. So good ama bisa kuti as zisazape zeke yai. So mena mungana and get a zikori, anari bisa zintu. Do you funam yambe gani zabunena kuti? Pantawi na yosibine makala. Paricho bisi kati mene ari esepa gula, sabujuona. Amena ngata kuti pez and amena din simwa mungu. I mean, a Bible now would do what the eye has not seen, nor ear held, nor gone into the mind of a person. The Spirit of God has revealed it to him. Zima Mung, Adelaide Kukuza Kudi Apa, Paricho Misika. The next financial breakthrough is one discovery away. You turn everything around if you simply discover. One thing that the Lord has hidden and is waiting for you to be a king to search it. Once you bring it out, everything is gonna change. Everything is gonna change. It's one way of discovery of a recipe, one way of discovery of a spice. Don't ever think Coca Cola will only be the only product. It's a hidden mystery. It's a mystery and a hidden secret. It's a secret that nobody knows. The formula for Coca-Cola. Because Sima kala closer to Coca-Cola. It goes around the family. Family to control global markets. Whether you like it or not. That the, the, the only ones who do Coca-Cola. Sakwera and the gamos. Chifkazangango Mari and Twamenu. Coca-Cola water. 
Tiridisi na zake zimene si disasifesha yai. One discovery away is gonna make you a billionaire. KFC is not chicken. It's a spice. Everybody has tried to find a KFC spice. Some eater. Chicken whatever, chicken whatever. It will still not, it will still lack. Because KFC is a spice. Those guys, they found out something hidden by God. They don't just eat. There is something else I will show you. And I will give you money. Whether they like it or not, they will give it to you. While you're home, a Malawian will be sharing his, his money with you. While you're, imagine the whole world buying from you. And because they can't find it out. It's already proven that if you come with something that nobody can understand, everybody's challenged. Oh, yes. Because that guy simply said to you, some formula, biological scientific formula. And Merchandise. Buying and selling. Pagantai koche pagacha. Anagakala bilione ya mutamine uchi. Kuma sisi magwila nchito. What if you find nchape o gwila di nchito? So you think the only way we can heal the whole world is by praying, putting our hands. No. God is going to put wisdom in someone. Come out with this something that will change the whole world. Is a discovery away. Your breakthrough in life is one discovery away from you. And God has hidden those things. Let your brain be at work. Use the Holy Ghost in you. The illumination of the Spirit. What is it that is hidden from my life? That once I find, I'm going to come out from the, from the traditional way of doing things. So do not accept that every place is your place. You can always move away from the traditional way of doing things. And come up in a different way. Everywhere. In music. In church worship. In, in, in preaching the word of God. In doing everything else, there is always something new that when you transcend from traditional ways, you are the only one in the whole world. And everybody looks at you because you are different from everybody. You are not just like everybody. That's why Mau Ofanan and creativity, the originality. You are so original that nobody can compare you with another person. You are living in your own world. That whoever wants you has to come to you. Mm. Oh Lord, I know my time is over. But let me give you the last one. This is the, 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 one of the things, okay, the last one is not, oh, what, is not really different. It's the process by which one utilizes creative ability. It's more like the first one. It's more like the first one, okay? Now, I wrote these two statements because I wanted, I didn't want to forget this. I didn't want to forget this. It is the nature of God's people in finding new and better ways to do things in any area of influence. It is the nature of God's people. I could have said, that's the plan. That's the way God planned for his people. That they should find new and better ways 
in every area of their influence. God expects you to be very creative. He is creative himself and he wants you to follow suit. Number two, it is a shame when we fall into a life of predictability and the tradition. It is a shame now when now we fall into a life of predictability and the tradition. When now you are so predictable in what you do. You are so predictable in what you do. It's a very big shame because that's not what you are. Ephesians 3 verse 10, the Bible says, we are to display the manifold wisdom of God on earth. The church has been empowered by God to display the wisdom of God. And I want to submit to you, one face of that wisdom is creative wisdom. Because God is creative by nature. We are supposed to the intent that now and to the principalities and the powers in the heavenly places might be known by the church, by the church, the manifold wisdom of God. The manifold wisdom of God. And one side of that wisdom is creative ability, creative wisdom. The wisdom that makes changes. From today, I invite you now to a life of new beginnings. When I say new beginnings, I mean every day to be a new thing. Yes. There is something new in everything that you'll be doing. Yes. You want to run the same thing for five years yes. because of failing to find a new way of doing it. Yes. Every time, you even have two steps, two steps ahead of you. You will know that what I'm doing here, once this is done, I'll have this way. Once this is done, that's another way I'm going to do it. That's the life. I'm prophesying over your life from today. Yes. You won't be predictable. You'll not be stuck in a tradition. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes. And I'm praying that after this message, new ideas, ideas that you never thought exist, business, business ideas, business ideas that you never thought they ever existed, I mean, you never thought those business existed at all. They are about to be birthed in the name of Jesus. Your mind from today is blessed and anointed. Your mind from today is blessed and anointed. Your mind from today is blessed and anointed. In the name of Jesus, you are going to be a best setter a trend setter everybody will follow you you will follow no one in life everybody will follow you but you follow no one in your life in the name of jesus christ your mind is receiving is receiving is receiving the grace and anointing right now in the name of jesus I want wherever you are, touch your mind right now. I pray that your mind right now receives the anointing. Receives the anointing. In the name of Jesus. The class for creativity. The class for creativity. You will never be stuck in one place. You will not be stuck in one place. You will not be stuck in one place. Something will happen to you. From now onwards, you will no longer be at one place. You keep on moving. You keep on moving. Mandarabasi Karabasa. Worship him like now. Worship him like now. Worship him like now. Masika Tandarabasa. Father, we are blessed. Father, we are empowered. Father, we are empowered. My mind is not stuck. I'm going to task my mind by the help of illumination of the scripture, by the help of the Holy Spirit. I am about to produce ideas, ideas out of my mind, new and fresh ideas, 
new and fresh ideas. There is always something new. There is always a better way. There is always a better way of doing something, of doing what I am doing right now. And the Lord by His Spirit is revealing it to you now. The Lord by His Spirit is revealing it into your life right now. The Lord by His Spirit is revealing it into your life. Prophesy over yourself. Speak to yourself what your life will be like after this. What your life will be like after this. portion. That's the inheritance you have. That's the portion you have from God. To be creative. That's the portion you have from God. To be creative. To be creative in life. I am creative. I have an assignment on earth to display the wisdom of God. To display the wisdom of God. To display the wisdom of God. I am creative. I am creative. I am creative in my life. I am creative in my skills. I am creative in my business. I am creative in my ministry. I am creative in my giftings. I am creative in what I do. Whatever I do, I am not stuck in a tradition. I am always moving and progressive. I am always moving and progressive. My mind is always looking at a better way of doing something. speak to yourself speak to yourself establish it in you establish it in you establish it in you The discovery that is going to bring a revolution, that is going to change the world, the discovery that is about to change your life is the grace for it, is granted now, is granted now. Yes, the discovery that is going to change this world, that is going to bring a change, that is going to revolutionize this world, is granted right now. Oh yes, oh God. Oh yes, oh God. 
I am empowered. Oh yes, oh God. Someone is leaving this place with a brand new life. With a brand new life. When people thought that's over, when people thought you would never make a movement, when people thought you would never progress, something has just hit you. Something has just come in you. Oh, yes. There are people in this room. There are discoveries. There are creations. They are going to change and have impact in this church. Men will celebrate. Because of your creative ability, man who bless God. Masanta ba ba ba, si amanda ra ba sata ra ba, se kara ba 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 ra ba sat, mandere beki Something is happening in this room. Something is happening in this room. Something is dropping from heaven in this room. It is not sparing anybody. It is not sparing anybody. The Lord wants you to be creative in everything that you are involved in. In every level of your life, He wants you to be creative. Yes, yes, there is something happening. church on the move. Nobody's gonna stop us now. No one stops us now. We are on the move now. Yes! We are on the move now. Nobody stops this. Nobody stops this. Nobody stops this. Nobody stops this. Yes. Nobody stops this. Masantara baba baba. Sekatara baba. Oh yes. 
Nobody stops this. Oh, yes. Nobody stops this. Ability. Yes, no one stops it. No one. Yes, by the anointing of the Spirit, by the anointing. worship him. Yes, we we'll never, never, never. You never set our fallen. We know there's more than something. Jesus, it's in your God. It's in your God. 
And through Apostle Joseph and Pastor Priscilla Ziwa comes a new revelation, rising, ascending to greater heights. The Victorious Ladies Conference. It's where the worth of a woman is defined. Don't miss this appointment with your destiny. On the 16th and 17th of August 2019, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Victoria Gardens in Blantyre. The Victorious Ladies Conference, setting the quality standard of life in Christ. Come and encounter God and secure your future. Live a life ablaze with the Holy Spirit. You are